All right, we're here with the head coach of the Longview Lobos, Coach John King. Coach, how are you today? Doing good. Good, good. Well, let's talk a little bit about last season. Uh, the Lobos finished 11-2 and overall, uh, 5A D1 regional semifinalists, 7-0 and in district play. Uh, just talk a little bit about last year and your, and your thoughts on last season. Well, you know, I thought we had a pretty good year. Of course, everybody's disappointed the way it ended. Uh, had a great uh, group of kids, and and they had, had so much success at Longview High School uh, for the last three years. I mean, a lot of these graduating seniors we had last year had played varsity football uh, for three years. Fifteen of them had been three-year varsity players. And, you know, they'd seen the highs and lows. And and uh, just uh, – but I thought it was a good year. Uh, kids played well. We just uh, – you know, we kind of run out of bullets, run out of luck. We we didn't play extremely well in the last one. Uh, had a chance to win it, and we didn't. And and uh, you know, we got sent home. But uh, it doesn't change the way we feel about those kids and, and the effort they put forth uh, representing Lobo Nation. Well, and, and we'll talk about district realignment in a second. But you're moving back up to six A. But over these last four years in five A, a forty three and ten record, like you were talking about with that senior class. So. Um, just talk a little bit about the the senior class and what that meant to you, um, those seniors, especially being those 5A these last four years. Well, you know, we uh, we had a good amount of success. Of course, you know, we, we were hoping for a state championship, you know, to be quite honest. That's the expectation around here every year, you know. And and uh, <clears throat> that uh, four-year run in 5A, I mean, we had to deal with COVID that year. Uh, that was kind of a, a unique situation. And, and uh, of course, uh, um, ran into a really good Denton Ryan team in the third round of the playoffs who went on to win the state championship. They might have been the best defensive football team I've seen a high school team have ever, uh, but they were talented. And, of course, the next year we got beat by them again uh, by possession uh, with all those young kids coming back. And then in 23, 23 we won uh, 22. I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. In 22, we run to the semifinals and and uh, drop one to Lido. Uh and then, of course, you know, the results of last year. But uh, uh, it, it, there was some real good football being played. I think those guys lived up to, uh, you know, the standard that we have here at Longview. Uh, you know, and, and uh, you can't judge, you know, success by just titles and everything else. I mean, the, these guys are going to be successful in life. They're going to be successful as husbands, fathers, you know, and and, uh, and they're going to do great things. And, and we'll, keep, uh, we'll keep an eye on them and keep supporting them. Well, let's talk about the realignment back up to 6A this year. And the last time the Lobos were in 6A was when you won a state championship. So uh, a new district this year and moving up a classification. What are your thoughts on the realignment? It's going to be a tough draw. Uh, our district's really tough. Our region's really tough. You know, if you're fortunate enough to get in the playoffs and, you know, uh, getting in there with a couple of new schools who never played before, North Forney and Roy City. Uh, and a couple of those, these programs have new coaches. You know, we're going to, rekindle the rivalries with Rockwall and Rockwall Heath and legacy, you know, uh, as district opponents and, and, uh, you know, Forney we've had in our district the last uh, few years and they, they've been a really good football team and going to be really good again. They got everybody back. So uh, it's going to be a tough, tough, uh, tough road to hoe. I can tell you it, uh, uh, it's not going to be any e uh, easier for sure. And, and uh, being in the seven team district will be a little different, you know, as far as where the open weeks fall, we've been in a, uh, 18 district last couple of years and you know makes it a little bit easier for managing the schedule and so forth but uh, some good good teams on the schedule or non-district uh, uh, slate is going to be uh, tough and it'll prepare us for district play. Well let's talk about this upcoming year you got five starters returning on offense four starters returning on defense so kind of a lot of, of newer faces that are going to be be on the offensive and defensive side of the ball but what are your thoughts on this upcoming year and obviously what are your expectations as well? Well, you know, it was a great running back, Taylor Tatum. I mean, he was, you know, considered to be the best running back in the country, and he he really did great things for us, broke all kinds of records here at Longview High School. So, I mean, everybody's going to say, well, you know, about that, and then, of course, the quarterback. And, but we've got some linemen back. Uh, we've got some some running backs that have varsity experience back. We'll be we'll be breaking in a new quarterback, and and but you know, Maverick Rowe, uh, he uh, he played as our backup last year and had some varsity experience as a starter as well uh, when our uh, starting quarterback went down. De defensively, uh, the biggest concern is going to be the secondary. We lost the entire secondary. Uh, never had that happen before. At least, you know, in years past, we hadn't made one or two coming back. We don't have any. And, and I'm, when I say any, any with varsity experience. Uh, so uh, that's going to be a challenge. Uh, lost some great defensive linemen, Billy Smith and Zaris Shepard. 
who played so well for us for three years. We're gonna really miss those guys, just their leadership that they brought to the table. So gonna be a chance for some guys to step up. And you know, I, I think our our linebacking core with uh, Brendan Reese and and uh, Cason Brooks, they need to be leaders of this defense. Jamias Morrow, uh, another guy that uh, needs to be a leader for us as well. They need to go make some plays and and uh, make sure that we uh, live up to what uh, Lobo defense is. And and then, of course, and last but not least, going to be finding a kicker. I mean, we graduate our kicker, our snapper, our holder. Uh, so uh, you got to put a little uh, emphasis on that, too, because uh, they can come back and bite you. So uh, it's going to be a inexperienced team in some ways. And, and But, uh, you know, we have eight or nine starters back, so and I think 32 letterman. And, and those are the guys that we're going to have to lean on for leadership and, and uh, holding everybody to the standard. Well, and I, one more thing before I let you get out of here, I'd, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you about your son Haynes over in, in Georgia Tech. What do you what do you think about the the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets uh, this upcoming year, and, and how proud of you are of Haynes and how he's doing over there? Well, I'm definitely proud of my son. I'm proud of the young man that he is, and and uh, you know how he handles himself and how he competes, and uh, and the success he's had at, uh, at Georgia Tech last year. You know. Uh, Yellow Jackets have got themselves a bus all for a schedule. I think I've seen it ranked where they got the fourth toughest schedule in the country. And to be quite honest, I hope they can, they can make it through that that schedule and get bowl eligible. It may be possible to you know, be a play for an ACC championship. So it'd be a lot of long uh, long nights uh, flying back and forth to Atlanta or wherever they're playing and watching. But I'm not going to miss it. Uh, it's a, it's a once-in-a-lifetime chance. And – and uh, heck, I'm even going to Dublin, Ireland. I'm gonna go over there and watch them open the season up with Florida State. Uh, so uh, you know, it's a unique opportunity. But I appreciate you asking about him, and uh, I know he he'll be representing East Texas. Absolutely, and we'll be keeping an eye on him as well. And and safe travels over there to Dublin to to uh, watch him. That enjoy that time and and get on back here to East Texas. And we'll be talking to you throughout the season, Coach King. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right.